There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the barest woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute.
Come on now, boy. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Hang on. There might be something. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. Okay, I'll lead. You watch behind me. I can't believe we're doing this. I know, but we won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. I'm gonna check over here. Wait, what was that? Hey there, boy. <sighs> Let's keep looking. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. Shush. Hey, hey. Shush, shush, shush. Wait a second. Wait. Hold on. Quiet. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend. 
died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Looks like someone's been here. I'll go first. You stay close. Of all the ways I thought today was gonna turn out, this sure weren't one of them. Hey, John. Over here. Get in cover. And we'll bust the door in. You boys found my puppies watching! Damn it! How many you see? Three, four, or twelve! You should have paid Mr. Bronte! empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Check that spot where it all kicked off. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Coming, hide. I found. 
found a body. Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Get back to Dutch. Yeah. Looks like we lost them for now. Come on. Let's just get there. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. So let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Get this done. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Arthur. You coming in with me? You took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look, Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go, boy. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just...
just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Son, everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to 
Cuando salí de Hermosillo, lágrimas vine llorando. Mr. Bell, had fun robbing graves, I hear. Yeah, that's more your style. <laughs> Happy Miss Grimshaw. Very. Well, let's have some fun. You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Okay. Well, I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. Susan. You okay, Pierce? Yes, indeed. Feels like we can move forward again. I hope so. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. You getting involved, Bill? Just getting my drink on first. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. Okay, Mama. No stopping you, Karen. You better believe it. <laughs> just save some for the rest of us. Look after that kid. Oh, I will. He's a brave boy. Good to see you smiling again, Abigail. Thank you again. Truly. Ah, uh, I miss that little rascal. So good to have you back. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. And to see a smile on your mama's face again. Fair enough. <laughs> We did it. Well done. That's a way well, off, oh, all right. Oh, Maybe play something for Jack no, later. I'll ask him in a bit. Okay. You all right, Charles? Yeah, just taking it all in. Joy is good to have the kid back. Just like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep he some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. He asked me for my Is that right? To wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it could harm, I jumped in bed beside We did it. Yes, we did. Thank God. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. One of these days, we'll get you singing. Uh, you don't want to hear that, I promise. No. Mother. You mean like a normal family? Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. I'm feeling sorry for yourself. I think that plays good, don't it? He sure does. Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. Say good night to everyone. Good night! Good night, everyone. Don't stay up too late. You okay, Jack? Yes. A little tired. Yeah. You should go to sleep soon. Okay. Well, let's talk more later. Okay. Oh, uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. That's it. Suit yourself, then. See it for what the hell it is. Another song? Come on, fellas. What do you got for me? Don't you go riling Abigail up. 
I wouldn't dream of it. Just let her have this moment. Oh, oh God! No, it's all coming back. To <laughs> the story has a even All opposition they defies. People must recall her die. It's crowded here with smelly men. It's fat and hard in the wind. Misty blow, tobacco smoke. We are great. We dress in tobacco, tobacco spit. But talk of politics is where. The health even line. 1849. All opposition they defy. So the people must be called for that. You have ruined the drivers when they feel inclined. Well, have you walking on the line? The gold help them out so much. Everything promised when you're pale, you pay. You'll have to walk only half the way. Then sad with a gun and left. You'll have to push the other half. They started as a thief and lied in 1804. You okay? Clearly not. It's getting very tiresome. Yeah, she seems pretty worked up. Good times, Pearson. What? Uh huh? I think we're gonna be okay, Mr. Morgan. See if you feel the same in the morning. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. What I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. Keep this party going, Javier. I friends. will. We did it. My loved He's ones. back. A plan. Is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place and we are gonna find our own paradise, our own heaven. Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, the real new world, not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free! Free. Yes, we are, Dutch! That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. Imagine, when Jack's your age, it'll be the 20th century. I'm pretty fired up there. We are going to do this, Arthur. It ain't just talk. All day long on the prairies I ride Not even a dog to trot by my side Fire I kindle with cow chips around The coffee I pour without being ground I wash in a pool and I wipe on a sack I carry my wardrobe all on my back for want of an oven, I cook bread in a pot. And I sleep on the ground for want of a cot. The ceiling's the sky, my floor is the grass. My music's the lowering of my shiny white ass. My books are guns, my sermons the stones. My parson's a wolf on his pulpit of bones. I sometimes, sometimes I rob a bank, bank on Main, Main Street. You can't blame me for wanting to deep. But show me a man that mm -hmm. sleeps more than mm -hmm. found. And mm -hmm. big old Uncle lying out <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> and the newspapers call for our gangs to mine. Says we're no good thieves that you, you should, should despise. despise. 
A parson remarks from his pulpit of bones, fortune favors those who look out for their own. <laughs> <coughs> Bell. Looks like a decent pistol. Come on, Strauss, we're celebrating! I'm very happy to see young Jack again. Well, smile then. Is that you? Ah, uh, don't worry. It can wait. Well, who is bloody sleep?
No. Come on. Get out of here. Hey, get up. Why are you poking around here? Ah, I've forgotten what it was now. Well, see you then. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. <laughs> 